Hello, and welcome to Coca-Cola of Northern New England's Plastic Recycling Education Program. Today you're going to learn about all the different types of plastic. Many consumers are still confused about which types of plastic can and cannot be recycled. There are seven different types of plastic. Most recycling facilities accept type 1, 2, and 5. The other types of plastics require special recycling treatment. If you're unsure what type of plastic you have, look at the bottom of your container. There will usually be a symbol indicating which type of plastic it is. The first type of plastic is PET. It's very easy to recycle and one of the most common types of plastic. When you recycle PET, it can be processed into many different things like life jackets, North Face jackets, bean bags, or rope. Vermont Teddy Bear is a company that uses recycled PET plastic to stuff their teddy bears. They use this material to stuff their teddy bears because PET is naturally antibacterial. It is a clear choice for a kid's teddy bear because it will not attract germs. One of the problems with PET plastic is that bottle caps and lids don't always get recycled. The only way you can recycle this material is to keep the caps and lids on any containers. That's the only way they'll get recycled because they are too small and will get lost with the trash in the recycling process if they are not on the bottles. Caps and lids are currently the second most abundant ocean trash. So don't forget to keep the cap on any water bottle or PET container when you recycle them. Another problem with PET is that plastic bottles get recycled much more frequently than these types of plastic. All these containers are made from the same type of plastic as plastic bottles, PET. So it's important to remember to recycle all types of containers. Some people don't recycle those types of containers because they think they have to wash them out. The only thing you should do with a container like this is open it up and let your dog have fun with it. Then it can be put right in the recycling bin as is, no matter how dirty. The next type of plastic is HDPE. It is thicker than PET. Once HDPE is recycled at a facility, it can become many things, such as recycling bins, toys, or patio furniture. A company in New Jersey called Axion International uses recycled HDPE plastic to make this black construction material. This black construction material is made entirely out of laundry soap jugs and shampoo bottles and we like to call it Big People's Legos because it can be used to build entire bridges. This is a bridge in York, Maine that is made entirely out of this recycled plastic material. The bridge is strong enough to hold a 60 ton tank, but believe it or not, that's a feather compared to the trains that can go over that bridge every single day. The bridge is durable and has a zero maintenance budget. The problem with HGPE is that some people think that you can't recycle things like laundry soap jugs or shampoo bottles because of the chemicals in them. But when you think about it, if you wash those things down the drain, you can also recycle them. So don't waste energy washing out your bottles. You can recycle all types of HGPE plastic. The next type of plastic is PVC. PVC is used for things like piping and flooring. The problem with PVC is that there is no easy way to dispose of it. You could incinerate it, but that could cause cancer-causing dioxin to be released, which is not good. You could send it to a landfill, but that's not great either because it's just wasting space in a landfill. You could try to recycle PVC, but recycling it often fails because it is more expensive to recover and process it than it was initially worth. 
If at all possible, try to avoid the use of PVC plastic. The next type of plastic is LDPE. Once you recycle LDPE, it can become more plastic bags, packaging, or film material. Once LDPE is recycled, another incredible thing it could become is DEX. Trex Decking is a company that collects plastic bags and other plastic bag-like material to make their DEX. All this material is made from recycled LDPE. One issue with LDPE is that people assume, since you can't put it in a recycling bin, that you have to throw it away. But that's actually not true. You can recycle LDPE by returning it to the grocery store. Another issue with LDPE is that it is so lightweight that it could blow out of your trash can and end up in the environment where animals might mistake it as food. This could be avoided by keeping your trash cans and your recycling bins covered, so trash and plastic won't blow out of them. Remember not to stop at plastic bags. Most grocery stores have drop-off locations like this. They collect sandwich bags, cling wrap, plastic wrapping, Ziploc bags, cereal bags, bread bags, and bubble wraps. The next type of plastic is polypropylene. It is most often used in yogurt containers. Once it's processed, it could become dishes, carpeting, or lab equipment. The problem with polypropylene is that similar to PVC, it is not always as economically viable to recycle it as it is to recycle other types of plastics. However, you can still recycle it by putting it in your recycling bin just like any other plastic, and it still will be processed into new materials. However, if at all possible, you should try to avoid purchasing products made from polypropylene. If you do have products made from polypropylene around your house, try to find creative ways to use them before disposing of them. The next type of plastic is polystyrene or styrofoam. Unfortunately, you can't put styrofoam in typical recycling bins, but that doesn't mean it can't be reused or recycled. There are a lot of different organizations that will collect recycled styrofoam and make it into new things. Look online for areas near you where you can recycle styrofoam, or get creative around your house and use styrofoam in different ways. Any plastic that does not fit into the first six categories is considered an other. The problem with the number seven type of plastics is that they are usually a combination of polycarbonate or another type of plastic. Polycarbonate contains BPA, which readily breaks down and leaches from the plastic. BPA is an endocrine disruptor that mimics human hormones and has been linked to many health problems, including chromosome damage in ovaries, early onset puberty, diabetes, and obesity. Think twice before you throw your plastic in the trash. It shouldn't be taking up valuable space in landfills where there are so many ways it can be reused and recycled. Let's see how much you remember and take a quiz. Thank you for listening, and we hope you learned a lot about recycling and sustainability. The following sources were used for photos and information in this video.